Get ready for it, dude. Look at this. Look, look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! Tango! That's so guys, we are back on the Third Life server. We are here for our next session. Hopefully, I will end with again one life. Or on my first life, not with one life. I don't want to die twice. But we are here! So, we are back in our little flower kingdom, flower lake place hermits i don't know what we are i don't really have a name for us other than cutest place on the server like visually at least because i've made jimmy live underground so like it should it should maintain cutest place in the server as long as i don't let jimmy do anything we'll be fine also if i hold tab we can see that everyone else is on green apart from b dubs scar and skizzle i will be interested to see if anyone dies today and if so who but today's goal, I want to hollow out some more of this mountain. I want to make our enchanting area in there. I think I'm going to put it on the other side of the nether portal. And I think I'm going to also make the nether portal a little bit like more built in, if that makes sense. That's the plan. But I think this could be cute to build it on the other side of the nether portal so you kind of go through. I love that there's people out here like actually progressing, doing cool stuff, like setting up shops. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to make a real really pretty house area thank you but this is the plan obviously i do have kind of dominion over potions with martin um after last episode of getting into the nether i have five blaze rods which means i can make a brewing stand and quite a few potions but obviously i don't want to do that yet i don't really see a need at the moment but that may be something i eventually set up as like a little potion shop you know as people start getting like further into it where they're not wanting to die and stuff potions are going to be handy fire resistance strength all of the above now the plan is obviously dig this out into kind of a, a circular shape i will go in and replace some with like andesite cobblestone do some slabs you know the usual things we do to make stuff look cool okay so now i'm gonna just pop in some cobble mix in some normal stone like so grab a little couple slabs mix in like that so it's a little bit more hidden and i'm gonna make the little stepping stones that i've done on other series just to make it a little bit easier to kind of jump across what are you doing here? oh jesus christ i forget <laughs> that like there's just prox voice and because i haven't heard anyone so far that caught me off guard dude that looks really cool thank you look that's really nice if you follow me and you go through oh, it. This is oh where I'm gonna put the gosh. enchanting area. Oh dude, that's what that's really cool. <laughs> this that's is really my nice. this is my make it pretty episode. Yeah. No, that's good. I by the way, I was thinking just before this, mm -hmm. work with me here. Um oh God. what if because um, you know, everyone's you know, everyone's taking their own sides and everyone's mm -hmm. doing their own thing, you know, with you know, with the desert and stuff like that. What if we surrounded our whole area here mm -hmm. into like a glass dome and we made ourselves like with the bees like a like a greenhouse i was just gonna do a wall oh oh right <laughs> because Wait, a wall around the whole thing well i mean just like if you did a wall like up along the edge there down into a little valley where we can kind of put like a gate oh, or something up over what? that down Wait, over which, that valley. What, would, what would be the entrance which bit that gap or the gap on the left you could put two entrances. Yeah, 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 we could do actually. But I mean, you could just put a like a wall that kind of runs from the border up around here. All the way around. And then down to the other side over the back of your house. And then it means everyone oh, comes in can. through the one place. Is there a name we could like, not even just like the area, we could just call like this section. Because if we're going to put up walls, we're, we're kind of like establishing ourselves as something. Do you know what I mean? We need the walls mainly because we've got the only cow at the moment. That's literally what I'm about to do, by the way. I'm going to try. I'm going to go back to the place where I found this cow. And try and find another cow. And try find, because there was, there was another one and I left him behind. Why would you do that? Because I, I could only swim in my boat. He, literally, they're in a swamp on an island just by themselves. Like, okay. I'm going to fit one in a boat and then come back for the other one. So I'm going to go over there now and see if I can get the other one. Yeah, you go do that then. Let me yeah, know how I'm gonna it gets go on. It. Because yeah, I yeah. think someone said they wanted to live in a swamp. So I'm worried it's the same one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it will be. So Hopefully you I can uh, get that before them. Right. Uh, which way is the swamp? I think it's just directly that way, isn't it? Across. I mean, I have no idea. Right. Okay. I'll catch you in a little bit. Bye. 
Right. Okay, now we're going to go back to making our cute stepping stones. And then maybe my best option is grabbing some cobblestone and like marking out where our area is going to be, like for the wall. Everyone's just off to the nether today. Well, actually speaking of nether, I should probably jump back in with whatever gold I have and trade that with the pigs I've got in my hall. I'm gonna need my gold bits on. I've got four gold ingots, is that? That's not even enough. Oh, I have a block of gold. That's better. Okay, wait, I think I see more. I did. We're gonna smelt this and then we're gonna go. Cause the only way I'm gonna get stuff right now is by trading. It's the only way I'm gonna get leather. Until Jimmy maybe finds that other cow, brings it back and then we can breed it. It's gonna be a while. Okay, we have our gold. Let's go see if we can trade with some piglins. Did I put stepping stones in then to not use them? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, there's so many more toglins now. Oh no, that scares me. You know what I might do is just make another hole. Here. I'm gonna throw another one there. I didn't really want the gravel. That's fine, he's gone in the hole. Perfect. I've just been given some urgent news via text message. Jimmy has asked me to go to him and he said it will be worth it. So we're gonna make our way back and see what Jimmy means. Oh, is that Jimmy? That's green. Oh God. Hello, Hello. Green. Hello. I was I told that there was a cow here. No, there what used to be a cow, but it died. Well, I heard that that was a lie. No, look, it's literally the only cow in the world used to live here, Rip Daisy. <laughs> it's Jimmy who was in charge of getting it. What do you think was going to happen? Joel told me it was a lie. Why would Joel know it was a lie? I don't know. Why would A, Joel know, and B, why would he tell you to come and look for a cow that doesn't exist? We have a lot of sheep and a lot of chickens, but that's it. Why would Jimmy be smart enough to put the cow somewhere else? I mean, I don't know if all of you would come and take our cow if we did have a cow, right? Why do you want to know anyway, Green? You already come for, like with your sword out ready. Seems a little no, bit. No, no, it's dangerous, dude. I came here in the middle of the night. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy's away out looking for a cow because we've not been able to find cows after that one died. Well, I'm on the hunt for a cow as well. Oh, well, you may bump into them, but sadly we don't have a cow here. This is beautiful. Thank did you. you. I'm guessing you built both of yeah, these. Yeah, I did. I very much did. But <laughs> you should have seen the first thing Jimmy built. It was horrifying. I was like, I can't live across from that green. I couldn't do it. I had to change it. I sent him away and then changed his house while he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that yours is higher up. Oh, of course, of course. So we're gonna have the hierarchy system, just so he knows. All right, I'm I'm going on the hunt for cows. Okay, good luck. I I will find one. Okay, I believe in you, Jimmy. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. Right, come to the edge here. Right, that little hill there, yeah, with that yeah. little spruce tree right there. Right, that is where we found the cows. So I thought, hey, I'll go over to it. Finally found it. Now follow me. I don't know if he's still in there. I don't know if he's still in there. Who? It's Tango. I think it's Tango. I think he was coming home, and I quickly dived out of there. Okay. We need to be quiet then. Where is he name? Is Tango? Is Tango's down there? So, look, I made a little lint. Oh, where is it? Why don't we just dig in? Yeah, we just dig in. Dig in the air, dig in. I'll block up behind us. Get ready for it, okay. dude. Look at this. Look, look at this. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh my oh god! My Tango! Tango! That's Jeez! No, Tango! Dude, I no, can't no. believe this! Could you this is the whole time? Here. You've Nothing to see here. All of Move our on. meetings where we're talking about cow <laughs> server problems, and Move you've got on, every man. single cow on the server? Get out. I can't believe oh it. My I, God. So I got I came back to this exact place. I came to this place, got one cow, and oh. I was like, I'll come back for them. And I'm guessing Ew. you came to this place. And we, found have, them. we have we oh. have a cow. We, we have, have a cow. cow. You have one cow, that's right, I know. No wonder no none are spawning elsewhere. I need to like mind erase you both right now. You saw nothing. Wait, right, 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 wait, wait, wait. Tell, tell you what. Tell you what. Okay. what? If we what? if if we can take one cow off your hands, but then one. You ruined my whole operation. No, 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 no. Wait, Jeff, wait, no, what about, what about, we let him keep the cows. Okay. But we also get access to breeding and killing them, and we don't tell anyone else about what we well, found that's here. that's just like giving you cows, except I'm, I'm maintaining them. Well, see, the option is then we can also tell everyone else the exact coordinates uh, of wait, where wait, all the cows I could in the work, server no, are. I, I could work 9 to 5 on Monday. I could come in uh, 9 to 5 Monday. Jimmy could be an apprentice. Oh, Jimmy cows. could feed the cows. wait until I'm red. Uh, oh. <laughs> but until then, you can't you do have anything, Tango. 
You have a decision So I now. can type out in the chat, Hey guys, I think I found some cows. You are being blackmailed. You you give us access oh. to these. Or I have the tell, message ready to go, Tango. I have Hey guys, I think I found some cows ready to go. <laughs> I, mean, I had a whole operation plan. You guys just come in here. Currently, and me, and, me and Jimmy are two for two in ruining server monopolies. Two for two. If oh, I pacing. give you one cow, I'm giving you a hundred, right? That's yep. how this works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I basically, see. yeah, yeah. Wait, we can make a deal though, because it means we can tell everyone that we have the only cow. It takes away any uh, hint ow. that you have them. People will think uh, we're the only one with a cow. But 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 the value is. All right. Even it if they find our people. cow and they kill it, they'll be like, ha ha, we killed the only cow. And we'll be like, yeah. oh no. But we know. We, we know, know that we still have this. We know. Well, I'm going to let you know right now, this place is going to be trapped to all get up. Right. Well, well we need to know a secret entrance then, Tango. Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, Tango, Tango, because you're forgetting the other option we have here is we murder every cow in here. Uh -huh. And then they all spawn around the world. Take a cow and leave, will you? Do you want right, to take a cow? We're taking a cow. Okay. We're taking one. I can't wait got, to oh, oh no, they're all following me. Minus oh my goodness. We take one. Minus we take one. <laughs> oh. You did this to yourself. All right, let me let me block up the, the bit. We here. won't tell anyone, we'll be people over uh -huh. word. We won't tell right. anyone else. Yeah, yeah, good story, bro. Well, I promise you we will not say that we have we found any more. We just need to make this a bit more open for now. And then we're gonna need to not do what Tango done. So I'm gonna need to start digging down. And I mean deep down. All right, he's nearly here. Okay, I'm starting to work on an underground bit. You can start bringing them down. I've made it open up enough. Come on, cows. This should hopefully be deep enough. Green just bred something, which makes me think he has his own cows. Can you put um, torches down? They shouldn't be able to get up that right, but we can. I think so. Oh, no, he can, he can. Get the wheel. Oh, jeez. I've got no wheat. I've got it, I've got it. Why are you not paying pay attention to me? Come on. Oh my goodness, I hate this Dude, cow. I hate it. I hate it. Sir. In. Oh my lord. Oh, they're both trying to get out. I hate it. Jimmy, take this wheat. I hate it. Come on, yeah. Okay, that should be fine. Can you go stand up at our base and see if you can hear them? I can't hear any cows and I'm right at the entrance. And to be fair, dude, the sheep cover the noise 100%. They are loud. If you keep working on that, I'm going to quickly pop over to Greens. Okay. All right, I'll be a second. Okay, well, seeing as that fiasco is now a little bit more settled, what I'm going to do is grab a bunch of cobblestone i also got my lily pads i'm gonna pop the lily pads down in the river as well just to give more sort of like parkour places just like that and now i'm gonna work on a wall got to just figure out a way to wall off this area see this could be a cool, cute little area to put something in so maybe a wall from back here i mean i'm not needing to do a full wall right now if i'm at least marking off like the flower kingdom kind of area it at least lets people know like hey you're now entering our area and obviously we're not only making enemies like although we have undermined and destroyed two monopolies so far i made friends with cleo i got them dark oaks yeah i was undermining another monopoly while i was doing it but i did it i helped etho with the raid by trapping the pillager and sure the raid wasn't maybe wouldn't have happened if i hadn't pushed martin into it but i still helped for now, the plan is basically, I want to just make a kind of like mishmash of different kind of like heights of cobblestone along the outside and then probably on the inside as well. It can be varying heights, it doesn't matter too much. Point is I want a wall pattern that can kind of be irregular but still look good. And then the trick is you just kind of go up varying heights and alternating blocks. Okay, something like this. And then we just go in and drip every so often like that. And then I also want to just grab a bunch of sticks and probably just in awkward make myself a bunch of fences and just put a fence on top of all of them and then we'll have something like that so this is the kind of vibe i think going for a kind of mix of like mainly wood with a little bit of stone is going to work best for the vibe around here because obviously we've got a kind of like flower forest little like late kind of rusticy vibe so having giant thick like stone cobblestone walls isn't going to work but i think doing something like this where it's a little bit cuter Definitely can. 
And like I said, I can have like varying heights. It doesn't need to be the same like cobble at the same level. And then from an outside perspective, it looks like that. So that's the general idea that I want to go for. And it's quite good because it means I can then say to Jimmy like, hey, this is the material we need. We're going to need a lot of this type of wood. And he's then able to like contribute. And it's also an easy enough pattern that like if Jimmy wants to spend some time working on the wall, he can. If he doesn't, that's fine. And then the thought is we can build like a little kind of watchtower here. So then you're able to like look out over our area and see if there are any incoming intruders. Because as I said before, we're definitely on Tango's hit list now. When he hits third life, uh oh. But it's fine because hopefully by that point, I should have my own enchanting area where we will have enough levels to make her like good enchantment stuff. I think normally I would prioritize good tools but I generally think armor is going to be the important part. Armor and then maybe a pickaxe. For now I'm just going to pop some torches like along the wall. But once we're done we'll be able to like alternate some lanterns on top of the posts and such. I'm hoping that's just not despawn. I'm going to need to look because that's like forest fire that could affect my now flammable wall. And I have decided I now care a lot about my flammable wall. This isn't just that it hasn't despawned. This is very much in fact placed. This is very intentional. They've like surrounded it with like cacti. There's lava, there's endermen and bolts. Well, this is horrifying. Yeah, they've went very much down the like don't come here vibe compared to us who I'm just like, I'm just gonna build a cute wall and please don't come here. You know, I'm hoping people will respect the boundaries. Green and Scar on the other hand are not giving people the option to not disrespect the boundaries. Okay, we're gonna grab more wheat and then go breed the cows. I'm trying to just like stay on top of that so that we can at least get our supply going. Okay, there we go. Again, more cows equals more leather equals enchanting equals less death. Hi Joel. Oh, hey Scott, didn't notice you there. What's going on? How's everything? Good. What's going on in here? Anything in here that I should see? No, my house. I've got some chests that I've not organised. Um, He's a very unorganised, it's kind yeah. of disgusting. I mean, I've got a chest room that I'm building. Do you have any cows? No, we couldn't find any. Well, I know that's a lie. How do you know that's a lie? I have my intuitions. Okay. There's some down here, isn't there? I'll go find them. I mean, it's a strip mine, Joel. I can hear moose. You hear baz. That's true, I can hear bass. It's literally bass. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's these sheep. Yeah. <laughs> They're the only animal we did have, sheep and chickens. That was the one that Jimmy found and then died because he walked into the cactus. I'm watching you. I'm suspicious. Okay. I mean, what would it matter if we did have cows? They would be our cows anyway. <laughs> yes, but I could come kill them and take my leather from those cows. But it wouldn't be your leather. But also, if you kill them, then it would be a short supply. Whereas if you left them, it would be a bigger supply. Would that not make more sense? Even more sense would it not be uh, to not do into the cows, let me build full enchanting and just use it. Are you saying you got cows? No, but if I got them, that's why I was saying it would be a better option. There's lots of... Everyone's so sneaky on this server. Where's Jimmy? I bet he's gonna... Oh, no, I Jimmy's gone. Him. Oh, where he's is he? He's disappeared. I don't know. Also, you came over my boundary line. That was rude. Oh, uh, you know. Look, I'm building a wall up there. It's just gonna take I a while. see. It's just... It's well... Not... I'm going to go find Jimmy and I'm um, going to find these cows. I think Green said that he has cows. Well, he admitted okay. it in chat, so you can always go to the desert. I will say, though, they have taken a much more deadly approach than what I have for the boundary line, so just good luck. Okay, I'll go have a look. I do need glass as well, and they've got a lot of sand. Okay, have fun. Oh, my God, the timing of me not... Like, I just got back up from the cows. Jesus, that was so close. Joel knows, but Jimmy better not rat. Because then not only does someone know, then it also makes me a liar. <laughs> I mean, I am a liar, but Joel doesn't know that yet. Okay, so I have 18 books, which makes six bookshelves. So almost halfway there. Come in here and we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it goes up to level 12. I want this to be full. Same with that. Then for the rest, it's just kind of sporadic. Kind of like this and it's kind of cute maybe have that one come down like two over here i can have it coming down two there i can go one like that and then i think does it look better stripped yes always okay cute i like that 
Well, that's cute. I may eventually try and go above here and replace it all with like green concrete or something. But for now, this is what we've got. I could also do with replacing the floor in here. Because I've been focusing a lot on the exterior projects like the farm, the animals, the enchanting area, the portal. My little cave, although the really cute front door was done, everything else was kind of left. I think it's time I give it some TLC. Scars just died. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Scars on his third life. He's on his red life, which is terrifying because it now means he can murder us. Well, that just got a lot spicier than I thought it was going to. You know, maybe reputation friend points are something we need, actually. Okay, we're done. This is the floor. Looks super cute. I'm into it. I love this little room. It feels like you're kind of transported to like a little jungle when you go in. Even though it's not jungle wood, it just, it just gives that vibe. And I'm into it. I suppose the next thing is just the walls, you know? I need to replace the walls with all this, but I also want to get a bunch of concrete, which means I need a bunch of sand, which means I need to go to the desert. And I only have 15 diamonds. Is going and stealing sand from the person who can now technically murder me a good idea? Probably no. Do I have another option? Yeah, but like that all's waiting and like I'm kind of impatient and like I don't want to do that. So this just seems like a better option, you know? It's fine. If I come over here and I just have a little shift and I just skim a few layers of sand over here, they're not gonna notice. They're not gonna know. How would they know? It's fine. And now we put away the shovel. The evidence is gone. And I just make my way back over to my house. Like nothing ever happened. There we go. That's much better. But this looks so cute now. And here's all done. I do need to do something with the walls in here. It's all coming together. This is gonna look so cute once it's done. Once I'm able to get full enchanting. Ah, chef's guess. So we managed to have a very successful third episode. We got some trading done in the nether and didn't die. We managed to stumble across Tango's secret hidden cow farm. That's where all the cows have been and why none have been spawning. We also blackmailed him and got a second cow. So that's fun. I'm sure that will have serious repercussions in the future, but like not right now it won't. Also done a lot more to the house, but that sorted started our own enchanting area which i'm very glad about so hopefully next episode we can breed the cows up till there's tons of them murder a few get some leather finish the enchanting area get some more diamonds and get some diamond armor and then we will be fully enchanted diamond armor stuff it'll be great but if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like comment down below let me know what you think i should prioritize next is there anyone i should avoid obviously with scar being dead i need to be very careful around the sun kingdom but subscribe if you're new to the channel hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video and i will see you all next time bye